wanna put you in a trance Let's party Boogie in your body Work that body, work that body Make sure you don't hurt nobody I say hey, hey, hey Feel the fire with a burning desire Yeah, get a fall for that thing Dance, shake, and I swing Come on, go on, let me rock the world Yeah, yeah, Hi, how is your day? Oh, 
accepted. Hey, it's me. Can I talk to you? Hey, I have good news. I guess is coming back today. Mitsuru Senpai said her wounds have finally healed. We're meeting in the lounge tonight. Don't forget, okay? See ya. back, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, I'm glad to see you. I was getting nervous. <sighs> Me too. I was fearing the worst. I'm a machine, so I can always be rebuilt. Even if I was completely destroyed, the programming data necessary to recreate me would still exist. Hey, don't talk about yourself like that. They said another week would be required for a complete recovery, but I had the process expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me at the lab and told me everything. That must have been difficult for you all to hear. Have you been well? I mean, considering the circumstances. Sorry, it's because I wasn't strong enough. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was...
But... If I hadn't done that to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. Ryoji has presented you with a difficult choice. Have you made your decision? I have a favor to ask of you. Tomorrow, when Ryoji comes, please... Please, kill him. I can't bear to see everyone hurting like this. Please choose to have your memories erased. Even if... Even if it means forgetting everything. And everyone. I guess, what are you talking about? Yeah, this isn't like you. What's wrong, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My mission is to protect humanity from shadows. But now I know that I can't defeat them. So then, why am I here? I'm useless. I cannot even shed a tear for you all. Oh, I guess. Why fight when you know that you can't win? What is the purpose of that? Why are you wasting your lives? We're not wasting our lives. We're just planning for the future, right, Ken? Right. I... I don't understand. It must be because I don't possess a life. <laughs> this has nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine. A machine that was created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't fulfill that mission with the powers I was given. So then, what is my purpose now? Could someone please tell me? We don't know the answer, I guess. The only one who can tell you what your purpose is, is you. That's why we're having such a hard time making our decision. There's just no easy answer. But as long as we're alive, we have to do something. When we see others hurting, we want to help them. So that's our purpose. Can finding one's purpose really be so simple? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you will lose sight of your goal, and you will have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then you must set your heart on a new goal. To truly live, you will need to make changes sometimes. Do you think I can do that? Do you think I can change? Yes. I mean, you've changed so much already. Have you noticed? In fact, you're changing even as we speak. I know 
know what my purpose is. I'm a machine. A machine who is here to live. And the one who has given me this new purpose is... me. I guess... This is the promise I've made to myself. I don't know how I'll do it, but I guess that is part of living, too. Will you allow me to join with you all? Of course! You've always been one of us! Thank you. I will be with you all. No matter what happens. Hey, long time no see. Midnight's just around the corner. At midnight, I will change from this form into something unrecognizable. So, have you reached a decision? Okay, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you'll have to kill me influence your decision. As I said before, I'm going to disappear anyways. 
I won't feel any pain by dying. So there's no need to worry about me. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you made your decision? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm in too. I have made my decision as well. Then we're all in agreement, yes? Better let him know then. Okay? Hey, it's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Although back then, I didn't appear in this form and wasn't known by this name. Don't tell me you've all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But you're the only one here right now, so... I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and your memories of the battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day in fear of your inevitable death. Nyx cannot be defeated. It's useless to fight her. Are you still thinking? Or have you already made up your mind? I guess my words didn't change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. See? I'm not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. Do not hesitate to kill me. I want you to think about this carefully. Is facing Nyx really the best decision? Right now, you are all confused by the truth. But some things in this world cannot be changed. You do not understand this yet. Memories are ambiguous. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you want to end all your friends' pain and suffering? It's up to you. You're the only one who can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. <sighs> I understand. It's regrettable, but it's your life. You can do what you want with it. I will respect your decision. Let's go back to the lounge. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? <sighs> it's an unfortunate decision, but it is yours to make. 
That's right. But you can't defeat Nyx. It's impossible. But we must still try. Personally, I don't care if it is impossible. I understand. It's almost midnight, so I'll keep this brief. I'll tell you where to find Nyx. She'll be at Tartarus. You must reach the top of the tower before the promised day. When's the promised day? Exactly one month from tomorrow. January 31st, 2010. Nyx will descend to Tartarus, and the world will end. If you go to the top of Tartarus on that day, you'll be able to face her. The tower exists for the purpose of Nyx's coming. As the appraiser, I usher Nyx into this world, and Tartarus welcomes her arrival. The tower exists for the purpose of Nyx's coming. That's why it's called the Tower of Demise. So if we reach the top, we can fight Nyx? Yes, but remember. From today, you will fight against eternal despair. Like I've said so many times before, Nyx cannot be defeated. When you face her, you will finally understand this truth. And then you will realize what it is you are trying to stand against. We understand. There's no need to keep telling us. January 31st. We won't forget that date. Well, I'll be going on ahead of you then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun! I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy and my friend. I guess. Thank you. This will probably be the last time I'll see you all like this. But I'll always be watching over you. Well, goodbye. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya! <laughs> that Ryoji. Happy New Year, Senpai! Uh, 
guess. It's New Year's, but there's nothing really special to do. Well, you can always wish people a New Year's greeting. Like, uh, have a great year. Yeah. Happy New Year to you too, Koro. Oh man, I completely overslept. Why did I stay up all night watching that stupid movie? Did you guys see it? It had these giant Amazon women running around in the jungle. Why would I watch that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? No, I don't believe in superstitions. Me either. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. They're all wearing kimonos. Kimonos, huh? Uh, I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it right there, Junpei. Uh, what? You're going to the shrine, aren't you? N no, I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm just going for a walk. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going with you then. I'm bored. Oh, I'll go too. All right, then, let's go. You coming? Anyone know where it is? Yeah, the girl told me the directions. Sweet! New Year. Hmm? What's the matter, Yori? Mitsuru Senpai, you look hot. I, um, <laughs> I mean. Stop staring at me. never worn a kimono before. Does my sash look okay? Fuka, you look... Wow! Jeez. This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Ah, I'm so glad I came. <laughs> New Year's kicks ass! Yeah! Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? Man, we got to see some great stuff today. Right, Akihiko-senpai? Uh, I, uh, I guess so. Hey, aren't you guys cold? A little, but I love this time of year. Um, that's not what I meant. 
Junpei-san said that you guys aren't wearing anything underneath your kimonos. He said what? Ow! What did you wish for, Fuka? I... I wished for a great year. It's a bit generic, but that's what I really want. That's what I want as well. How funny. We all wished for the same thing. But it wasn't a plea for help. I know that we'll be victorious. We should get going. <laughs>